come back all excited from the boat show. Thought I'll get into a big day's lemonade. You come in. Dude, backs a, 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 a bobcat into my tent. Snaps one of my uprights. <laughs> so there's a day's work there. Expect anything on the mold. You've got to do it. you just got to expect it. It's uh, one of those things. You've got to keep your sense of humor because if you don't, this is going to go on a long, long time. I've got a splintered, a splintered post here. But uh, yeah, not a good scene. I mean, we've got a, a lot riding on this post, so got to get it fixed, got to get back into it. So this is absolutely rooted. <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely rooted. So give you an idea of what's, uh, what's happened here is uh, there's been a backo put through it. <laughs> So luckily I've got a spare acro prop just to, to hold her up. So there we go. Yep, nightmare stuff, but you know, it just happens. Stuff happens on the mould. So my tent's in survival mode. Got an acro prop jacking it up. I've just ripped it out. Look at the freaking wind. It's so over it. Um, yeah, so the, the bobcat sort of bumped into it, he said. Oh, I heard a big bang. Luckily I was on the other side. I was actually in the mould when it happened and I heard it. And it... Uh, didn't sound good, it's like a train crash. But uh, anyway, all good, just a new post. I'll whack it in and uh, get back to my job, for Christ's sake. <laughs> okay, so we've got the new post in here, and uh, lucky I had a spare acro prop laying around, but you know, we'll get this new post in, and uh, yeah, get him all bolted in, and uh, hopefully we can circumvent some of this wind, because man, it's windy today. It is blowing destructive sort of wind. You can see my friggin' tent's gonna get destroyed if I don't get it locked down, so I better get to it. So the layer I'm applying here is a 300 CSM. It's the final CSM before we put on the foam layer. Uh, it was about a good day's work uh, putting in this um, this layer along the whole side prior to uh, putting in some overlapped flanges that uh, needed to be done as per the plans. So a quick explanation as to what's going on here. Um, right now this wall is two 300s, one 1200, and another 300 quad, uh, 300 CSM. So substantial thickness, but on the flanges uh, overlapping underneath the foam, the foam's gonna sit sort of between here and this bottom one. We've got another 40 centimetre wide you can see that, that sort of blank spot in between, that's where the foam's going to bond to and overlap onto that, uh, that seam that we're, I'm laminating on right now. So an important part, obviously very structural, and uh, strengthening the chines and the edge of the boat. But uh, that's sort of the, the thinking behind it, and uh, yeah, a lot of extra work, but will give me a really, really rigid line along here. Um, the foam will overlap down to around about sort of, uh, five centimetres over the top of that, so uh, quite an effective seal.
Okay, so I'm up to um, the foam core level. This is a PVC uh, grit H80. Um, that's 80 kilos per cubic meter is how they rate this stuff, structural foam. Um, this is going to be laminated into the walls of the, uh, the, the deck and uh, on, on the hull and obviously into the floor. But because uh, I need a very, very slight bend, but not much of a bend. So I found um, without changing the structure of the foam too much, um, using a heat gun and getting a little bit of thermoforming happening. So that's about the bend I need. Rather than using grid scored, which is like three times the price, um, I'm gonna use a grid score down in the hull, but on the on the sides of the boat, I only need a very slight sort of bend. So I've come up with this um, bit of a rig, which is, uh, it's like a, something out of Star Wars, but uh, essentially I can heat the, uh, the, the foam with this, sort of uniformly and, and have a little bit of control over it at the same time and then I'm going to clamp it onto the surface to uh, to take the form. So that uh, that little device there is going to be uh, hopefully enough to to get a, a good contoured shape of my, uh, my hull sides. So I was lucky enough to be given a, um, a high pressure sort of a compression roller or a vibrating roller to to embed my foam down. Um, needs a bit of a clean up. <laughs> Just beautiful. So a little bit of acetone. Looks like it's had um, uh, masking tape sort of wrapped around that urethane roller. So it's like a boat roller, I guess, with a high pressure um, cylinder that sort of vibrates up and down. And uh, no doubt I'll get good use of this when I'm trying to embed my foam down, uh, given I'm not vac bagging it. So uh yeah a bit more cleaning to go yet i think so i've just put uh, the first 20 millimeter uh h80 foam on the wall of the cat here and uh you know i followed the instructions it's a sea light it's a polyester based um adhesive uh, a bit like a q cell mix i guess like pro bond um catalyzed at around about 1.5 percent and about four hours later i've come back and uh you know i left a couple of big clamps on it just to see that it was gonna gonna bond correctly and uh yeah it seems to be the business it's it's on tight as so over the top of this goes to 300 so i guess i'll just continue um putting them on like this so uh, hopefully you know that that'll work it uh seems to have uh, certainly bonded very very sufficiently and uh with another three to four layers of glass over the top, you know, more than enough without uh, the need to vacuum bag. So this is the first test piece, the uh, the rear uh, sugar scoop uh, side of the hull, but uh, it's it's certainly with the clamps and with that, uh, with the sea light uh, adhesive, it's, uh, it's a substantial bond, it's not coming off. I mean, I've just tried to lever a piece off and it's not coming off. So with the, uh, the big, the big uh, clamps of, um, I've made here, you know, I'm getting a really, really good uh, bond. So this has turned into a bit of an epic. Um, <laughs> I've got every clamp I own on this uh, on this foam holding in place. This this sea light's incredible. It holds it really, really tight. The back one's finished, obviously, and I'll just work along two at a time, give it about two hours in between. And, uh, you know, I've got clamps coming in from everywhere. I've got massive G clamps. So luckily, uh, I know a guy that's... Uh, been very very generous in giving them to me, old Vincey, and uh, he's been able to lend me some clamps. Can't imagine the climbing that's got to go on. <laughs> Thank you. 
So probably about a day and a day and a half's work. Uh, we've got the uh, first hull side foam layers on the 20 mil foam. Uh, it went on pretty neatly. It was a, one of the biggest things I think I've done in this whole job. It uh, wasn't an easy task, but uh, it's on now and ready to go. Yeah, hey guys, I've, uh, I'm out on the tools today, out working. Uh, we've got a big sea kayaking group um, out towards uh, Bowen Island here on Jervis Bay. I mean, check out the conditions here today. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so we're pretty flat out running these massive school groups with our Tracy. Uh, this is what we do for a living, this is what we love. Um, and it gives us a chance to build a yacht during the winter and, uh, and yeah, get into it in our spare time. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please uh, subscribe and give me a like. You know, if you like it, if you don't like it, don't watch it. It's that simple. But uh, give us a like, subscribe away and share it out to all your friends. And uh, I'll see you next time on, uh, on Life on the Mole. <laughs>